This is the Chloe Cast, Episode 5 Improved Studio and Format Changes. Hey there, everybody. I am Mike the Zorch, and I wanted to let you know I've redone my bedroom slash studio. It's not ready to do a studio tour because my room is trash. I just got done redoing everything. It took a lot longer than I expected. What I used to have was I had my laptop that I do my video capture with and my desktop connected to a KVM switch. And I wanted to get away from that because the KVM switch was screwing up. Because when I would switch over to the Windows side, I would either crash or it would take forever for the screen to come back up. I would switch it over and I would wait like five seconds or longer for the screen to suddenly come back up. So I was thinking, yeah, I, I can't, you know, work with this anymore. My KVM's starting to go out. So I decided to just yank it off and make the two systems completely separate. Now I still have the capture card connected, the USB 3 capture card. It doesn't like to play nice with most other USB 3 devices, but I've got it to do it. I've got it to play nice with my USB hard drive, my USB 3 um, hub, and also a USB 3 uh, thumbstick that I like to use from time to time, a 128 gig hug, um, thumbstick. I also got it to work nicely with my uh, USB webcam. Now I got a webcam on the laptop already, but I'm not using that because of where I've got the laptop at. I can't really use the webcam on it. It's a slightly better webcam than what I'm currently using right now. Right now, the thing I'm using to record this right now is a cheapie. I mean, this thing was like under 30 bucks. It's all metal, probably Chinese. But uh, it gets the job done. I mean, it's not horrible. Frame rate's not uh, what I would want. It's a 1080p, probably 1080p, 30 frames per second webcam it's supposed to be 60 but it works it just works so i'm able to use it with obs and i'm able to use it along with the uh with the capture card just fine i do uh, videos over on gamers bay and i'll be doing some uh live streaming of final fantasy 14 i'll eventually finally get to that uh, once we know everything's fine with our ISP, which is the other thing that's been going on. So basically, our ISP has been upgrading all of their equipment. They've been going through the neighborhood. Our internet connection's been wonky this entire week. Now, today, they've been it's been a lot better. I don't think they're doing anything today on the uh, line. Or if they are, they're not in the neighborhood, so it's not really affecting us. But all this week, our connection would go out for like several times a day, completely go dead. We had no connection at all. So hopefully that's fixed, but we'll be switching to a completely new modem and new static IP address in a couple of days because of this new hardware. So. I'm hoping this really gets rid of a lot of the problems we've been having with dropped packets. Like certain times of the day, our connection will become almost unusable for streaming. You know, for watching video, fine. For streaming stuff or for playing anything online, you can forget it. And you time out frequently. So hopefully whatever they've done fixes the problems. So I've got my room rearranged. I've got my setup uh, changed. I've got separate mouse and keyboards for each setup, separate screens for each setup. My gaming system, I've got a, I found an inexpensive uh, mechanical keyboard. Has, uh has Cherry MX Browns. It's a backlit keyboard. It's not RGB, it's a single color, but it's backlit white. I've got my Logitech G600 mouse hooked up to it. I've got my 
a steam controller hooked up to it. I have adjusted the screen so that it's not blinding me because that was a very bright screen. And I even got uh, this mic here to uh, set up properly. The only thing I don't have is I do not have the audio from that machine tied into this. I have this is connected to my laptop. How this works, now how I have the audio and everything all hooked up for my laptop is it audio is coming through HDMI and it's coming to my display, which is a Samsung Smart TV. Now I have audio cable hooked to the back of this uh, display and that's going to a switch box, just a small little, you know, m small little plastic switch box with a metal switch on it. And for some reason, this little, tiny little thing is 30 bucks. And all it does, all it is, is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack switch box. That's all it is. It doesn't take power or anything. It just switches A, B, switch for headphones and the thing is 30 bucks. And I can't find anything like it that's cheaper or better quality. So I've got this hooked up so I can switch between the two. I can switch between my speakers and I can switch over to my headphones. And my headphones are connected to a tube amp. Now for right now, my headphones for my desktop are not connected to a tube amp. They're, they connect directly to the 3.5 millimeter jack on the speakers. I want to be able to connect my speakers up to the system and also be able to switch over to these headphones. I've got some another pair of headphones, which are those Logitech, that Logitech G35, which is the surround sound headphones. But if I switch to that, if I switch to that, then I can't capture audio from the game. So I can't use that. So I just have to use, you know, just a pair of some hence, you know, um, Sennheisers that I've got laying around. Not the greatest Sennheisers headphones. So until I'm able to uh, get another, I need two other switches. Basically one that will switch control, audio control between the two uh, workstations, the laptop and the desktop. And the other one that will switch between headphones and speaker on the other machine. And I can wire it that way and have it all go through my, um, my tube amp. And it's a Bravo Audio tube amp. It's just one tube. It's a 16, I believe it's a 6922 vacuum tube. Not a very big one. It's got a graphic equalizer on it. Um, not, not graphic equal, but it's got an equalizer on it for bass, treble, and a couple of frequencies. It's not too advanced. It was like 70 bucks. It, uh, is basically a PCB inside a, what looks, it, a PC, PCB inside what looks like a case for a Raspberry Pi almost. You know, made of acrylic and metal. It's um, pretty uh, bare design. It looks it looks like it's DIY, but it's not DIY. So that's what's been going on here. Uh, I've got uh, the next episode of Chloe maybe coming up soon, and I'm still reworking the idea for gamers. So everybody there who uh, is subscribed to my channel, content's coming. And I've got this new studio set up so I can do some new stuff. So you may see some new things come down the pipe for me. Right. Until next time, I've been Mike. I'll see you later.